Hey everybody, what's up YouTube? Justin from FrugalSnobs.com. Brock's team with me, say hello. Hello. We have another currency review video. This time it is the 1917 one colon, or cologne note from Costa Rica. I always want to say <laughs> cologne. But it is the one cologne note from Costa Rica, dated June 23rd, 1917. So this is a really cool bill. We picked up this bill uh, just simply because of the, the ornateness to this bill. And what you'll see on the front, it's a very similar layout to a, a US dollar or a US dollar uh, banknote, what you'll see uh, featured on the note is a number of colors. So it's a very colorful bill, would you say? I would say that because, I mean, when you look at each side, it kind of mirrors itself with, they have a fi the figurehead in the center, and then it has one on each side, yep. decent size, and then after that, there's actually a ribbon, if you go around it, it is green, blue, green, blue, green, blue, green, but then in the center of that is a red. Mm -hmm. So it's a very colorful bill, and that's how they did their anti-counterfeiting. Yep. So also on, on the note, predominantly in the center, the figurehead, we'll call him the president, or it says on the note, El Presidente! I've always ah. wanted to say that. So, all right, so also in 1917, there was a military coup in Costa Rica, and Frederico Tinoco Granados. Wow, I got that out. Yes. That's really cool. So he took basically seized power in a military coup in 1917, producing a, in a presidential election in 1917 with one candidate. The thing is, he got over 62,000 votes, obviously, but yet, for some odd reason, there was 263 invalid or uncast votes. Interesting. You would think in, with a military coup, everyone would be required to vote who has a voting age. Anyway, we're not, not to give a, co a history of Costa Rica, but that is at least the front of the note. Anything else you want to talk about on the front of the note? No, we're good there because it's, as we pretty much described it, I mean, it says, El Banco Anglo Costa Ricense. Mm -hmm. Costa Ricense. Sense. Sense. <laughs> Sorry, when I hear Sense, folks. I think martial arts. Uh, <laughs> again, everybody, hate to say it. White people Spanish. <laughs> what can I say? Sorry. So, all right. So, again, that is the front of the note. Let's check out the back. On the back, we actually have Mercury. Interesting. Yes. He oh. is sitting on something similar to a vice, like one of the old mechanical vices. Right. Almost like an, like an open vice. Yes. Interesting. Almost used almost like a throne. But that, that's interesting. I mean, you do see more of the, the, the mythical figures on notes. We see it quite a bit on the Canadian notes as well from the 1930s. But yet he has... Fur in between him and the mechanical vice. Interesting. Well, he has to have a, a padding to sit on. I mean, you can't sit on all that, that really difficult metal. Considering Mercury's naked. That, oh, okay. That's a racy bill then. <laughs> yes, <laughs> okay, but you don't so, see anything. That's right. This bill comes with a, per, a parental advisory. <laughs> Viewer discretion <laughs> is advised. <laughs> so, all right. So anything else on the back of the bill you want to talk about? Any patterns? Any, uh, any unique colors? Any features? On, on the back, it's just dominantly green. On the top, it says un colon. No, no, no. Un colon. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta say it like that. <laughs> and that's on top of Mercury. And below Mercury, it says, Bango Anglo Costa Ricense. Yep. Also, the cologne, by the way, is named for Christopher Columbus. Yes. So see other cologne bills also in Central America, including in El Salvador, also named after Jesus being the Savior, so to speak, or Jesus Christ. So again, not a, not a religious video here, folks. But again, that is the one Colon note from Costa Rica, 1917. Really cool bill. Uh, if you'd like to check out any of the other videos, please do check them out here on YouTube. Also, be sure to subscribe so you'll be able to check out all of our videos here on the YouTube channel. And also, be sure to check out the Frugal Snobs podcast. You can find out more info on frugalsnobs.com. Also, you can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play Music, TuneIn Radio, and a number of different outlets. So make sure to subscribe to the podcast, folks, and check out the other videos here on YouTube. And don't forget... Definitely subscribe. Be well, never pay your retail, and take care, everyone.